This tutorial is to learn how to do or how to add motions to the Motion Puppet. The first thing we're going to do is to the buttons and I'm going to show you what I mean by the buttons. You select the avatar, you go to the right panel. The second icon is the icon for the animation you press on it. And the first choice is the Motion Puppet. When you press on that, as you can see I already have some motions that I added. I'm going to show you how to do that. Usually what you are going to have is a base motion folder, which is this one right here. It's the only one that you are going to have with four different folders. One is the idle folder, the mood folder, the move folder, and the talk folder. I already added the button right here, and that's what I was talking about. That's the first thing we're going to learn how to do. Okay. As you can see, if I go over the button, it changes to a different one because that's the image that I chose. And if I press on it, it changes to a different one. Okay, so it's three different images. That one right there, that one, and the one when I press. Okay, that's what we're going to learn how to do. So, first you have your avatar, and then you can put the avatar in whatever position you want. You can even have the face of the avatar, maybe. Okay, whatever you want, and whatever avatar you want, or even if you just want a text file, whatever, uh, you're going to save that or you're going to render it as an image and it doesn't have to be BMP right here in iClone but it does have to be when you save it okay in this case I'm just going to make it a, a BMP image once you have that image that you want to render you render that image and you save it in a folder so I'm going to show you the folder where the image is saved and as you can see I already have three images right here which are the ones that you saw already but I'm going to open up this folder and as you can see, I have those three original images, okay? Then I opened Adobe Photoshop, which is the image editor that I use. And uh, I put the three images there, and then I use a text, okay? I put some text on each image, and then I saved each image. When you save the image, make sure that you save it as a BMP map, and make sure that you also have the dimensions of uh, 100 times 60 okay just remember image that and image size and then you just go uh, remember not to have that constraint right here if you have adobe and then just 100 times 60 okay it's going to be a tiny image but it's fine because that's what you need for the button in the motion puppet okay so you go ahead and save those images those three images and once you save them you're going to pass them into the motion puppet folder so you're going to have to look for the motion puppet folder in this case i'm using icon 6 but th this is a tutorial for whatever icon version you have it's the same for all of them so for icon 6 you go to the local uh, drive which is the c drive in my case, okay, then I go to Users, Public, Public Documents, Revolution, and then I just go down the path to find that particular folder, which is a preset folder, okay? So let me go back, and the path would be Revolution Template, iClone 6 Template, iClone Template, Preset, and then uh, in this case I have the base motion right here but usually what you're going to find is just this folder which is called base motion okay all right once you have that <clears throat> you're going to make copies of this folder okay so you copy that folder I'm going to paste it right here you can make as many copies as you want. You can just change the name of the folder. Uh, you can call it whatever, like base, uh, let's call it um, chalk motions. Okay. Uh, if you can see, you're going to have a copy of all the folders, okay? Uh, you can empty the folders if you want so that it's not heavy, you know, on iClone. Uh, you the only thing you need is let me see you're gonna need uh, those things that's all you need and let me show you 
what you need. You need the three buttons and you're going to rename the images that you made. You're going to rename it exactly the same as the ones that you have over here. You see the names? I put exactly the same names from these original images. Okay, those you can just put them aside, the original ones, in case that you want them back or whatever. You can put them right here. And then you can just go ahead and rename the images exactly the same as the ones that were there. You have to figure out which one is the one that you're pressing when you're putting the mouse over, okay? The one that you press is the, the one that is this one right here. That's the one that says idle click. That's the one that you're pressing, okay? And that's all you need. You're going to need an ini file. The ini file is this one because you see the extension of the file is that ini. So you're going to make copies of that. You copy and you paste it as many times as you add motions to that folder. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to put two of them right there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to iClone. I'm going to go to the motion on the left panel. Okay. We're going to use the ones for move. Uh, here for Mason. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to find file. <clears throat> and I have those ones right there. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to copy the entire motions to that folder that I just showed you. This one right here. I'm going to copy all of them. And all the copies that I made is, I have, let me see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six motions. Okay, I only have two of them. So I'm going to keep copying uh, more files. Control C and Control V. I have two, three, four, five, six. I need six any files, okay? And I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to copy the name of that motion. And I'm going to put it on whatever any file that I made copies of. And I'm going to do that for each one of them and I'll be right back once I'm done. Okay, I'm done copying all the names of the of each motion. All right, so we're going to go to the preset. And as you can see, I have the one that says Chuck Motions, but I'm going to change that to, because it's, it's not Chuck, it's uh, Mason. So I'm going to put Mason. motions two. I'm going to put two. And for this one, I'm going to put one. All right. Okay. So it's, remember it's folder number two. Okay. Because uh, the other one I, I had added it before. Okay. Now, um, we're going to go to the motion puppet right here in icon. It's on the right panel, the second icon, the first the first one on top and as you can see that's the one that I added before but let me show you uh, it's not going to show you <laughs> the other folder that, that I just added and this one that says base mason motions remember I renamed that folder so if I press on it it's not showing anything and it shouldn't because I renamed it so the only way that it's going to show everything is if you close the program and then you reopen iClone and then it's going to show you the folders and the images that you use for the buttons, okay? Now, let me tell you one thing. For images and for folder motions that you are adding to the motion puppet, you need to refresh the program, okay? Close it down and open it up again. For uh, motions that you are adding, if I want to add a new motion, you don't have to do that. The only thing you have to do is go to a different folder and go back and the motion is going to be there. Okay. If you did the process exactly the way I just showed you. So I'm going to close the program. I'm going to reopen it and I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the motion puppet, which is on the animation icon. And the first one, remember. And as you can see, now I have the base mason motion one or motions one and if i 
open the drop down menu I'm going to have the second one which is the base motion motions 2 and the base motion which is the folder that we started with and the, that we made a copy of and our rule is whenever you are adding a new folder of motions okay make sure that the first name says base and it has to be exactly the way it is because it's case sensitive okay if you put base in capitals it's not going to work if you put base in a different uh, like at the end of the name it's not going to work it has to be exactly the same it has to be at the beginning of the folder and it has to be exactly the way it is okay because it is case sensitive and also another rule is that whatever folders you have here like idle moved move talk they have to be exactly the same names and is case sensitive and it has to be four of them you can have just one folder because you just want to add one set of motions and put it idle you can't do that okay you need to have all four the computer doesn't see those folders it's going to give an, an error and the error is going to show you just an empty space okay that's how it's going to show it so uh, you can put whatever names you want after that you can name it whatever you want and uh, put whatever motions you want to add on each of these folders you can put whatever motions you want remember to to add the buttons if in case you don't have any buttons um, like you don't want the buttons that come by default in the program you want to add your own that's fine you can customize your own buttons and you can add them the way I just showed you okay those are the rules <clears throat> okay rule is that you want to add motions my advice is copy the mo the base motion folder copy that many times okay and once you copy that many times with all the content which is all those folders right here so you don't have to do each one of them then you just go to a particular folder that you want to change like this one that i that i changed the buttons uh you create the buttons if you don't want the buttons that come by default and then you start adding motions right here I can add a new motion right here. Let me show you like this one copy. Um, <clears throat> you don't need to refresh the entire program when you're adding motions once you did the process correctly for adding new folders, okay? And I'm gonna copy that any file. Okay, and I'm gonna copy the name of this file and I'm gonna put it right here on the any file that I just copied. And you see, I have it right there. Now we're gonna check that to see if it's true. And that's in the base motion folder, in the idle folder or subfolder. So let's go and we're gonna go to the base motion, to the idle, which is the first one. And as you can see, the mason motion is right here okay now i'm gonna press on that and i'm gonna preview no, it actually... the thing about the motion puppet is that you can mask whatever parts of the body you don't want to move like no that's and i say okay i don't want it to move the head maybe no that's actually there not what i no, that's actually not. So you see, you can mask whatever parts of the body you have more control in in that. Uh, if you have a motion, a base motion that you already added, let's say like it's walking and then you want to change the way the, the, the arms or the hands move, uh, you can use a motion puppet if you have that particular movement and you can mask whatever parts of the body you don't want and then you can just record it. But let me tell you one thing, when you're recording, you have to be very careful because if you have a motion already and if you record on top of that, it's going to modify the motion. And if you have chain motions, if you have more than one motion on the timeline, then what's going to happen is that it may delete the other motions or uh, it may alter the, the sequence of the motions and it may not look good. But I just want to let you know that uh, in advance. I use a motion puppet a lot to modify motions, believe me, and it's very handy. And with this, I finish this tutorial. I hope everything is very clear to you. Uh, you're going to have to watch this tutorial probably more than one time.
so that you can get it and just practice on it and everything's going to work for you.